Hey everyone, I'm back. I'm the brunette bartender. This is Rainbow. My name is Erin. I'm a full-time bartender at a restaurant called Nick and Jake's. I'm in Shawnee. We have four locations around Kansas City. We're locally owned and we just recently won a national award for our community service. So if you haven't checked us out and you're around the area, please do. So today I've got a quick one for you. I'm gonna do a espresso martini. My girlfriend texted me a little bit ago and she had a glass of wine with her lunch and she said, why not? And I thought, yeah, why not? But I haven't had my caffeine yet. So I looked around, I looked at what I had and I thought, okay, I'll combine caffeine and alcohol. This is gonna be great. Everyone needs to know how to make a midday little cocktail with some, get some energy. So let's talk about ingredients. Today I'm gonna to use Jameson Cold Brew. Super happy to partner with them. They just threw $500,000 at the United States Bartenders Guild Foundation, which is gonna be helping all the displaced and laid off workers across the country due to the COVID-19 or coronavirus. Using some Baileys. Using some 360 double chocolate. Happen to have it on hand. Any vodka would work for this, um, especially if it's a flavor that you already put in your morning latte. Um, a caramel, a vanilla, a mocha chocolate, anything like that would work, or unflavored is gonna work really good too. Shaker set, martini glass, strainer, coffee cup with our espresso, and a jigger. Jiggers are used to measure the exact amount of each ingredient they are going into a cocktail. Oftentimes when you go to an upscale cocktail bar and you see them using jiggers and they're putting a billion things into a cocktail, it's because when you're off by a splash, a quarter of an ounce, a half an ounce. Um, the way that cocktail tastes is going to significantly change and that is obviously going to affect whether or not you think it's amazing or just okay. So whenever you see somebody using this, it's probably because they're gonna be paying really close attention to the proportions of the ingredients in your drink and it's gonna benefit your experience. Let's keep going. All right, we've got some ice in our shaker tin. We're gonna start with an ounce and a half of this 360 double chocolate. We're gonna use a half an ounce of the Jameson cold brew. We're gonna do three fourths of an ounce of our Baileys. Last but not least, the good stuff. My um, small portion button on my Nespresso brews a really small little cup of espresso. So that's what we're using today so we can condense all the caffeine into the smallest amount of liquid possible. Otherwise our martini glass would be flowing over, which doesn't sound like a huge issue either to me, but we're gonna go with this. Three fourths of an ounce of espresso. We're gonna cap our shaker tin and shake vigorously until it's basically too cold to keep shaking, which is gonna be a little while. See what we got. We use our strainer. I grip the shaker and then I steady the strainer with a finger on top. Yay! And it looks like we have ourselves a perfect espresso martini. Cheers. It's delicious. It's got everything you want an espresso martini to have. Actual caffeine and then a nice balanced coffee latte flavor for a really slightly sweet but enjoyable experience. Cheers guys.